What is the greatest requirement of a disciple of Jesus? Miraculous powers, enthusiasm, a sense of justice, morality. The greatest requirement of a disciple of Jesus is to sympathize with Jesus' heart. Jesus tries hard to fulfill salvation. The person who understands Jesus' heart. Can humbly do the work he left for the church with his heart. This does not mean you just need the desire to help the church's work. You must have the heart which sympathizes with Jesus. There were no leaders of Judaism among the twelve disciples Jesus chose. This is because they had no room in their hearts to accept salvation. They only focused on the privilege of showing their righteousness. Can people who do not need salvation really preach it, protect those who are saved, and prepare them for lives in heaven? Jesus established his church and wanted to entrust his work. To do this, he chose those he wanted and made them. Into the church's foundation, those who Jesus chose were surprisingly ordinary. What power did they have that Jesus chose them? What characteristic did they have, since they were chosen to build the church's character? Above all, they did not look after the interests of the flesh. They did not assert worldly ideas in front of Jesus. They not only learned from him, but they followed him to the end. You do not become a person's disciple because you receive his knowledge. You also do not become a disciple because you inherit his ideas, spirit, and personal development. A disciple must accept his heart. To be a disciple, you must realize a teacher's cares, worries, and hardship, and even consider his pain. Many people followed Jesus, but later abandoned him without accepting his worries into their hearts. If you are a disciple who inherits a teacher's calling, you must know his feelings. And keep the teacher's worries in your heart. Are you a disciple? Do you sympathize with your teacher's heart? Is the aim to benefit yourself through your teacher deep-seated in your heart? Are the teacher's feelings really your own? The disciple of Jesus, Mark chapter three, verse thirteen to nineteen. Hungnut Church's Lord's Day service on March twenty eighth, two thousand and twenty one, produced by Hungnut Mission Centre, sermon by Overseer Hung.